Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we are taking a look at the finished BrickLink Designer Program set number 910030, Snack Shack, designed by Stefan. Really impressive set. It contains 539 pieces. And I think this is going to be not only a great addition to our collection, but also an awesome addition to the Lego City. Got a couple different ideas about how it could be integrated, but we'll talk about that more in a few moments. Now, there are a ton of great details packed into the set. And one of the first things that I really noticed as it was going together that I appreciated was the fact that this is basically a 360 degree set. You can look at it from all sides and angles and uh, you know, there's nothing left incomplete. I like how the back of the trailer is filled in. Uh, you know, I think that we get a lot of sets these days with just facades. And while it's possible to extend them out on your own and fill in those uh, back halves of the, the buildings, I think it's really nice to get something here that is a full, uh, you know, a full complete set that can be viewed from all different angles. Really nice touch. It's worth noting there are three stickers that came with the set the Snack Shack sign, the menu board, and the circle on the, uh, basically the door window there. I thought that was an interesting detail to put in as a sticker. I assume they're trying to make use of the, sort of the gray trim around that tile and then have the black just on the top. Uh, you know, to make it look like a proper window on a trailer like that. Uh, just a, something that surprised me and I found interesting. I think it's really cool that we got an awesome looking seagull there. And we've got a nice little rat as well. Two minifigures, both really nice looking, you know, in terms of torso and leg prints and the... Uh, the face prints as well. Nice additions to our collection. One of the other sort of full build details that I really appreciated was all the vegetation that is included with the this finished set. I think this tree looks awesome here. Love how it's coming out from right beside the wooden um, sort of deck area out in front of the trailer where people can eat. Also like all of the vegetation on and around the trailer. Uh, and again, the vegetation is something that you see in that 360 view. You can see on the sides there, as well as on the back of the trailer. So I thought that was pretty cool. While we're overlooking at this side of the trailer here, really appreciated the addition of the little chimney smokestack here. I think that's a cool detail and touch. This looks like it's a bit of a propane tank uh, to power the cooking equipment inside the trailer. Another nice touch as well. Really liked the fact that you have this uh, sort of flap over the, the main window area for the snack shack. And it is propped up by a couple of posts or poles inside there. I thought that was a cool detail. It gives you the opportunity to lower that down and have the snack shack closed for a while if you want. Uh, but, you know, just an extra little bit of functionality and detail that I thought was pretty cool. Like I said, like the eating area out front here, I think it's a cool little addition. And you can see they've got the drink and the sandwich there, uh, possibly for the minifigure. Uh, so I thought that was a nice touch. The inside, 
you can't really appreciate a lot of the inside details uh, with the build in this form. But one of the things I thought was cool is that, you know, even though the build is enclosed and, you know, uh, you're seeing the full 360 degree view of the trailer, you can actually open up the back flap of the trailer there to see inside. So you can see there's a fryer there. There's, uh, I assume this is a, a sink and then a machine here for mixing drinks or other things that the cook is preparing for people to eat. Uh, we've got a nice little cabinet here. There's a broom on the other side of that. So lots of fun details packed inside here and it's cool that they are still uh, semi-accessible via this flap on the back of the trailer. But if you don't want to see those details, it's not a big deal. That closes right back up uh, and it looks like a nice contained proper uh, food truck uh, trailer again. So I thought that was really nice and uh, you know, just goes into sort of showing all the thought and uh, attention to detail that went into the designing of this set and the making of it. So really appreciate all of that. Now, as I mentioned, you know, this is a really nice contained build here, a little scene. I think this would be a cool addition to our Lego city. And I've been talking for a little bit now about making kind of a food truck area. I could see this fitting in in a couple of different ways. Uh, you know, it would look really cool next to a uh, sort of shoreside, lakeside area in a Lego city, uh, you know, close to the water. Uh, I could see this being mounted on a Mills module and it would really work well for that. The other thing that I think could look good with this would be having it in a food truck park. Uh, and that kind of lines up a bit more with what I've been thinking of potentially sort of building and adding to the city. I think it could be cool to have this as one of the anchor areas of a food truck park. Um, you know, potentially once it's mounted onto a mills module, even add a few more of the palm trees around it and then uh, sort of have other trucks, you know, spread out over several other mills modules that could form kind of a rectangular space. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to take uh, some time to think a bit more about it, see where and how I might integrate that into our city, or at the very least, what other food trucks and vehicles I might include in that food truck park. But uh, you know, I like the fact that this could get reused in a situation like that and properly integrated into our city. But, you know, on the whole, I think this was an awesome BrickLink designer program set. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, continue to be very impressed with the wide variety of different builds that we get out of the BrickLink designer program. And I like the fact as well that this was a small build. A lot of the BrickLink Designer program sets quite large. And I think it's fun to get something smaller like this that uh, can be used or integrated into, you know, a Lego city or displayed on a shelf, uh, you know, with a much smaller footprint. So really happy overall. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.